Hey everybody, so today we're going to be looking at something in Excel and before we get started, I want to make this perfectly clear. This is absolutely positively personal preference and my preference changes from day to day depending on what kind of mood I'm in and what is actually going on that I can tolerate that day. So what I'm talking about is how we enter our data into Excel. Now I'm not talking about an automatic import like from a text file, a CSV file, or anything like that. I'm talking about manual data entry. So here we have some sales data for Mel's Fruit Company. And if I'm doing data entry on this sheet, I'm going to go to Company Code, enter the information tab, enter the information tab. And then when I get to the very end and I enter this information, hit enter, and it's going to go to the next line. Now where I run into some issues personally is I have been known to delete data or even overwrite data. And I'm 15, 20 lines down and I've got a mess. So I personally prefer vertical data entry versus horizontal data entry. But again, that is personal preference. So to get our vertical data entry form, if you notice up here, I have forms on my ribbon. If you want to do it this way, you can right click, go to customize your ribbon, go down to all commands, scroll down to forms, select it and add it to your ribbon. Well, there's another way to do it that I think is easier. But if you've been around my channel long enough, you know I love keyboard shortcut keys. So we can actually do Alt Release, D Release, and O Release. And that's going to bring up what I call our vertical data entry box. And if you notice that our column headers match our entries here. So what we can do is make a new entry and it doesn't matter where you are in your form. You can be on cell A5, you can be in the middle of the form, or you can be at the end of the form. It's going to put that entry as the last one in your data set. So let, I'm going to go ahead and close this and scroll on down to the end of my data. So let me go ahead and enter some information for us. We're going to select new. And I'm glad I did this. If you notice, I have an incomplete record. We have to hit tab until we get to the last amount, just like we do if we're doing it horizontally, or it will only enter the part of the record we've typed in. So I'm going to close out of here, get rid of this. And I'm going to go back in, Alt, Release, D, Release, O, Release. And this time I'm going to enter a full record for us. So here I've entered a full record. So after this 5,000, I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to close this. But before I close this, if you noticed it cleared everything out, so you can keep going record after record after record until you're done. So let's close this. And if you notice, here is our last record entered at the bottom of our data set. Now let's just say that we're done with this data and we want to go ahead and total everything out. I'm just going to put total here in all caps. And then I'm going to come over to this cell, which in this case is K205, and I want it to add everything up. So we can do Alt equals, and make sure that you hold down your Alt this time while you're hitting equals, and it's going to automatically select everything that has a amount in there, hit enter, and there we have totaled everything that we have. So that is a quick and easy way to take your data entry from horizontal to vertical. And again, absolutely personal preference, but it can cut down on some of the errors that we can have by missing data or deleting data. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like, subscribe, follow, share, comment, all of that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.